and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Bedlam. Let's just go. Find this fire sword already, they have no idea where to look. Yes, this is basically where we left off. Not exactly, but it's close enough. One thing we do know about these types of games is where the bad guys are. There will be what you want. Oh. Where the bad guys are? Hey, you! Really, really gun. Build wall there. That's disappointing. No. No. Okay, you're dead. So far, I haven't seen any glitches in the Matrix. As I said, did I just go in a big circle? Really, game? It was way up, so I won't complain. So we've gone this way before, and which what? Maybe which what? As I'm gonna say. Kind of a way around. That one guy that was standing there and now he's oh. I don't know where it is. I don't know why I flip through every single gun. Okay. I kind of wish I learned someone would teach me how to do all that awesome editing that other people do. You know, the big names. Somehow they able to sploosh. Some of them are able to edit ways to where it makes it more entertaining, but I'm pretty sure that someone will tell me along the way. Wandering around circles. Oh. I got loading screen. That's a good sign. I need a, you know, save point. What game's way of saying you are going the right, the right way. So, advice for those of you that play games like this just wait till you stumble upon a save state. Trust me, it feels good to stumble upon one. I want to know. You know, the marker's not right even there right now. It drives it crazy. And then the music kicks in. Wonder why. Am I getting in somewhere? Is that what you're trying to tell me, game? Because 
Okay, not being very helpful and being unspecific. That's where I'm going. Find the fire sword. I'm guessing that frozen spots for the safe house system. Where is the fire sword? Find it. How and where? You guys are creepy. Not creepy enough. So I get for one your own circles, I get to free fight all you again. Wow, really? Where, all the, where there are bad guys, there's stuff. I'm kiss of this game. I'm obviously wandering around a lot. Figure out where you're going. Hello. Goodbye. Good knowing you. Actually, I was kidding. I don't know. Game has been running frantically in circles to the first puzzle. The other way is where the um, other guys are there shooting at me. That way, went around circle, a good circle. This is great. You know, guys, I could use some direction. You're not gonna give me that, are you? Big circles, but we're gonna look anyway. There were some fellows hiding up on a, over there. Maybe it's way up. I'm not looking for. Or not. There was a way up, and I was just being stupid. Come on. Come on. That's better. Sweet. I could throw fireballs. And, uh...
Finally, I found it. Now, I don't feel so dumb. I'm gonna spend 10 minutes of everyone's life trying to find what this stupid, you know, sword was. I like the sword. I'll keep using it. Come here! Sorry, you're dead. You're so dead. Now, let's, let's move on. Continue with the storyline. Should we get block? Should we get block mechanic for the sword? That would be unrealistic now, wouldn't it? Very realistic. That did it. Let's go. Next is the upper village. Can get a move on. So got a sword. Flee! Flee while you can! For they have summoned abominations from another realm! The demons of the dark embrace! Really? Must mean anything from a different game. Dark embrace. Oh fuck, not face huggers. All is lost. The savage host are unleashed. You mean demons of the dark embrace. Nothing can survive that stands in their path. Like the sound of this. I seriously hope I've leveled up. <laughs> what? God, fucking kidding me. What? Christmas. What? What? It gets worse. The furry little fuckers have enchanted the safe house key. You need to kill the all to break the spell. Wow. You know what? I'll stick with my sword. This area effect does the job. Hug this, funny boys. All the things I'd have to kill. Huggable, lovable, furry things. Huggable, lovable things. You know, they get easier to shoot once you realize the couple looks like Nigel Farage. Ha 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 ha. Some of them look like Snoopy from Charlie Brown. Yes, I'm not. <laughs> I can become that old-fashioned. Bring it! What's next? Rabbids? Mamings? I don't know. Just know it's annoying. Shot. How dare you? Good enough. Take it. I don't like you guys anyway. Didn't think there were. 
guys, let's guns go bang. And pew pew. And such. Have mercy! We are but simple folks! Well, for being simple folk, you guys have gotten yourself into a lot of trouble. I like this sword. People are trying to put back together something. Because they're doing a bad job of it. Ah, just, just die. I don't have time for you. Remember the lesson, guys. Whether they're bad guys, you're going the right way. Of course, they were coming from a different direction. What do I know? This place is a huge maze. Came from that way. Sense of. I'm boring you. I'm boring my heart out here, and you're acting like you've heard it a hundred times before. <laughs> Scaram reference. I love these references to these games. It's funny. Save. Hmm. Surprise! Look what I got. I got a present for you. And for your friend. And for your comrade. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed again. Oh, I missed again. Didn't miss that time. Killing tents. You guys aren't just scary now that I have a fire sword in my hand. But what well, fun. How many shots did that take? It's kind of sad, Phil. Stuff back here. We're gonna check out that, um, glitch. In the next episode, we'll be right back.